the world that is your friendly neighborhood subgator here hanging out today doing stuff and things on the derpy craft server i hope you guys are having a good day i'm having a really good day and i am wielding a shield and a sword because why wouldn't you we got a shield and a sword here so i started playing around with the battle thing i don't know what this is actually called there's different slots here i'll explain it to you uh so yeah there's i can't remember i think it's battle gear i can't remember exactly what mod it is that adds this but you can put items inside of here and then we can hit R and switch over to these. And you can actually dual wield. You can like hit sword someone and punch him in the face. Ugh. But it blocks at the same time. Block punch. Ugh. Block punch. Ugh. Block punch. Ugh. Amazing. So anyway, I started playing around with it and I was noticing that you can dual wield a, a sword and a shield. We have multiple like slots over here. But I was thinking what we would do with this is start making some new stuff and things. So I started playing with the shield. That's from um, mine and uh, Blade Battle Gear 2. So, um, but I thought also we'd start playing around with making some imbued swords because one of the other things you guys let me know about, I didn't actually know this, is like the attack damage on the ultimate sword, you can see is 46.25. The attack damage on the imbued sword is 45. Now I was thinking that sharpness got added after the attack damage number, but that's actually included in the attack damage number. So the imbued swords are actually better. So I figured why don't we don't, why don't we go ahead and make a couple of these? And we're going to need to do a little bit of crafting to start off the episode today. We're going to need one, two, three, four of these guys. That means we're going to need four machine cores. Nailed it! I think I already have some of the imbued rods ready to rock. So we're going to pop these in there. Four of those bad now! I don't know what that was. Moving on. One, two, nailed it! Ace it! Can't be stopped! So now we can go ahead and stick these guys in here like this. Oh, baby. <laughs> that looks so stupid. No, 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 so we'll put those down in there. And the cool thing about it too is it saves an inventory slot as well. And we just totally increased the amount of damage that we're doing. We're super amazing, double, super great ballerific now. Let's go ahead and grab these guys. Let's grab a piece of burnt quartz out of here. And then we just need a regular piece of quartz as well to rebuild our area. We just destroyed some stuff and things. So let's pop that down there. Another suggestion, yes, I have a girlfriend. We'll get to that. The other suggestion that one of you guys made was that we should put an elevator right here. And it was a great suggestion. So um, we can't really dye it any more white. It does kind of make the slip gator symbol look a little less white, but whatever, it is a good way, an easy way to get into the base, to get into the new 1.8, so we're good to go there. We did also get a girlfriend. In the last stream, I was streaming on twitch.tv slash slip gator, links are down there, shameless bug. And um, so we got a girlfriend because we have an idea for some stuff and things. Now, during the stream, we went ahead and we got almost all of the items needed for Big Bertha. So if you take a look at Big Bertha now, I'll show you what's going on here. So the Big Bertha Blade, we've got everything except the Vortex Eye. So the Big Bertha Guard, nailed it, aced it, can't be stopped. Big Bertha Handle, nailed it, can't be stopped. We got them all. We're rocking it. We're rocking and rolling it. So the Vortex Eye is a little bit harder to get. We've either got to find a Vortex Spawn Egg, which I don't know if there even is such a thing. I don't think there is. There's a Vortex Spawn Egg here, but I don't see a dried... Uh, ancient. If I can spell it right. Wait, 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 what? Oh, ancient dried. Ancient dried. We could just do dried vortex. So if we do dried vortex, for instance, there's no dried. Vo oh, wait. There is an ancient dried vortex spawn egg right there. Oh, crap. Okay. So that's a lot easier way to get it. Because the reason that I'm, I'm going off about this a little bit is because um, the vortex dimension or the dimension that we have to go to. Ah! Yes, I've made a bigger controller. And we're back. So the vortex uh, dimension or the crystal dimension that we have to go to in order to get the vortex, um, when we go there, we lose all of our items. Everything on us drops. And that's why we got the girlfriend. Because I do believe when we go through the dimensional portal or select the ant, um, that was me selecting the ant. When we select the ant, um, what would happen is our girlfriend would come with us and um, we can put an ender chest in her hand and bring our stuff with us. But now that I know that there's an ancient, that there's a vortex spawn egg, I mean, we don't have one, but I'm not sure if we can find one in the overworld either. They might only be available in the crystal dimension. Um, it, and the vortex is once you get there, 
it's really difficult to like get something. So basically, we, if we went to the crystal dimension, we'd be completely starting again. We'd need new armor, new everything. Um, and so that's where possibly the girlfriend comes in. Where'd you go, girlfriend? You just hang, what up, girlfriend? So we give her a diamond. She likes diamonds. Come here, honey. Come here, girlfriend. What's up, girlfriend? How's it going? We got to name her, I think. Jessica, probably. Well, our girlfriend should probably name her after my wife. <laughs> she probably should name her after my wife, just saying. All right. But we give her a diamond, and that makes her stay still. If we don't do that, she's going to follow us around. So um, last episode, we went ahead and we created all of this hallway thing. Oh, also, off camera, I did the uh, ritual really quickly to get the Builder's Wand. I wanted to get a Builder's Wand going, so I just did that off cam. A lot of you guys have been around for a while. You've seen me do it a million times. Um, it's very simple to do, so I just went ahead and got it done. So uh, the next thing that I really want to get uh, going is I want to get automated inscribers online, but I don't have that yet. But like I said, I think I'm going to do that off camera. That's something else I've done videos on, like three videos on it. So I'm just going to do it. But um, over here, I want to start to get a dupe tree farm going and have it be integrated with the AE system. Now, what we're going to probably end up doing is building like another 1-8 type structure over here. Um, that's something that we got to get done. There's a couple of things that I'm thinking though here. And what I'm thinking is that this dupe tree factory area place is going to go down quite a ways. It's going to go down, down into the ground. A big, long, quite a ways. Um, not a like a little ways, like a long ways. So in order to do that, I think it's time to utilize one of the most amazing and perfectly made and the most amazingly and perfectly made tools in Minecraft history. TNT. Oh yeah, that's right, ladies and gentle peeps. We could do this several... Oh, I'm too close to the ZPEs. I'm duping ZPEs because I, I don't want to run out of power. So, there's um, a lot of different ways that we can make a big giant hole. Um, but doing it with TNT... I mean, let's be honest. It's going to be the best way. It's going to be the funnest way of all ways. So, that means that there's a couple of things that are going to go on here. Now, I don't want to blow up this big hole and then have it fill in with water and then have to take out all the water. So what I'm thinking we're going to do is let's actually pop up right here. How much quartz glass do we have? 122. That's not very many. So let's go ahead and we'll um, pop that TNT into the system. What, what kind of glass do we have a lot of? Not really anything good. We've got a lot of regular glass. We need a lot more quartz glass. So let's pop over here. Actually, I'll show you what my plan is. What my plan is, is what I'm thinking about doing, is from about this level here, right where these plants are, all the way across this area, I'm thinking about covering it with glass and then sucking all the water out. So making basically like a dry basin that we can work in that has air. And then that way it'll be easier for us to make our big giant hole that we're gonna dig that goes all the way down. I don't know. I don't know how, how high are we? We are at Y. We're only at Y30, so it's only about 30 blocks down to the bottom. So it's not that far, to be honest with you. Um, so that'll be, like I said, an easier way for us to do the work. Um, now what I'm thinking we're gonna do, I guess to start off with here, is we're gonna go ahead and get some of the quartz glass we've got. We're gonna go ahead and start getting it duped up. Um, we're gonna have to take, I'm gonna have to take some time and wait. So I'm gonna harvest out probably this glass layer completely. Uh, uh. Put these guys down here like so. Harvest all the rest of this stuff out, and then we're gonna get to work, peeps. We're gonna make some stuff and things happen. I'm gonna make some quartz glass, and now BRBs, peeps. And we're back. I made a huge amount of quartz glass, like three or four thousand, actually. I went and played some Ark Survival Evolved for a little while, and waited for the dupin to do its thing, and came back and harvested it all up, and it's all amazing. We got it. So we're gonna go ahead and fill this guy up. We're almost done here, and I also went ahead and crafted some other stuff and things. So let's see how close we can get. Like so, like so. Bam, nailed it, aced it. Hopefully can't be stopped. So we're gonna pop this stuff over inside of here. This is a lot of glass and I'm actually a little bit concerned about how many sponges it's gonna take. That's why I made, I made three stacks of sponges because I wanted this to go a little bit faster. Um, and I found, I think I found a, or have an idea for, oh, that's cool, it takes out those plants. I didn't know that. So I have an idea for a really good way that we can make this happen. So I think this is it, right here, like so. Held it, aced it, can we stop? So we've made a huge cover over the entire thing. Some of these little spots you can see are caused by plants touching the glass. So now if we were to just break through in a spot like right here, and then we come down under here, and cover this up, 
All right, check it out. Here's my thoughts. So this is where I said the kind of where the middle of this area is. So I do believe we take our sponges, and then this is probably just the easiest way. We're just going to make, like, pillars of sponges. And that only took, like, ten. So now if we come over here, I mean, it's going to be really hard to, like, two, three, one, two, three. Wait, wait, wait. All right, one, two, three, like this one right there. Is that going to clear it all out? Yeah, I think we did it. And then that'll clear out in the center right like that. And then if we go one, two, three, one, two, three, bam. Did we get this one? Oh no, I think we left a little spot. This is really tricky, man. This is funny. I think this will work. Oh my god, man. Alright, there you go. You can see we're making, a little, we're making progress. We're making a little pillar. It looks like actually we don't even have to go up that high. We can go about this high right here and just continue to do this. One, two, three, one, two, three, bam. Like so. And we've made an even bigger little swath in the area. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and continue to play some sponges and then I'll be our bees, peeps. And we're back. And uh, this is really weird. I was just going to finish the whole thing up. But I thought I'd bring you guys back to just kind of show you how this all works. And it's so strange, man. It's such a weird thing to do. Like, look, we got all this water. Oh, you should be a thing. There we go. Should go away. It's really weird because the water doesn't flow like it normally does in Minecraft. And like, because there's like sponges all around and stuff like that. But it's just really fun. Like, I got a bunch of sponge left. But now I can actually take and harvest all this stuff except for the wall that's holding that, that water back right there. We can reclaim all of this, and we've dried this whole area out. This is really fun. Like, I don't know. It's just neat. It's just a neat thing to do in Minecraft I've never really done before. So it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. So we can just pop these guys off like here, like so. And then I won't do them all with you guys, but then we'll just come back over here. We can actually just find the center point between this column and this column, which is like right here. And you can kind of just go up until you can see that there's no water touching the glass, like that. And then bam, you're done. So then you can come over here and do this one as well. Find that guy, find this guy. It looks like it is right here. Nailed it. Hey, stick, camera stop. And we'll pop up to like there. And then this should all clear out here in a second. It takes a second sometimes for it to clear out, but there you can see it's, it's cleared out a little bit. This is so weird and strange and fun. We're nailing it. We're nailing it. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to continue to do it, but I thought I'd bring it back just to show you because it was such a neat thing. This is something I've never really seen before, and uh, it's working out pretty good. Are you done over here, guy? All right, cool. All right, I'm going to clear it out, and then I'll be our beast peeps. And we're back, and I figured we would start to show you. I got everything cleared out down here. It's a totally open area, and I've already started to measure out and make some changes here and get some of the TNT added in. So here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to kind of try to keep this a little bit organized. So if we come over here to the center point, and we take a measurement with our measuring tape, and we come over here, we can see it's 27. So really with the extra piece for the glass, it's 29 by 29. That's how big the 1.8 is right here. Now, if we come over into a thisly direction and we start measuring, what's half of 28? 14 plus 1 is 15. So we got to go from here 15 blocks out, which would be right there. So let's take a piece of this smooth stuff and things and then squirt that in right there. So this is kind of the measurement we got to be checking so that we're ready to go. We know the size of the hole we're trying to make. 13, 15, that's it right there. So that should be the 29 that we need. Now this way and this way is going to be a little bit more tricky. I feel like we're a little bit constrained here. Let's see here. Is that 15? That's 16. So right there is where that one would go. Then actually, let's just go ahead and grab some blocks out of here. It doesn't need to be anything cool. Let's go with this marble. It'll be easy to see. And we can come over here and go ahead and get our measurements going as well. Oh, this is gonna like break into here, I think. Is that it right there? Ooh, okay. So 15 like that right there. Now what we're doing over here is every third, now I think I can go a little bit further than this, 
I think I can go another block. But if I'm not mistaken, if you have smooth stone, the TNT is going to make... Oh, is it only a 3x3? Three three? Or is it a 5x5? Five five? Now I can't remember if it's 3x3 three three or 5x5. Five five. So let's test it. Let's just go ahead and pull these guys out. And then we'll come down here. It's so funny, like, you do so, I do so much stuff with modded stuff that sometimes even the simplest vanilla uh, things, I'm just like, how does that even work? What's the area? What's the radius of the detonation of TNT in, in Smooth Stone? Bam, nailed it, Ace that can't be stopped. Oh, so it's only a three by three. So I'm glad we tested that because that's a big deal. Um, that means that our holes need to be a lot different. So a three by three means that the holes need to be like right here. Oh, you can hear that void monster. So they're pretty easy to make. We're just going to go down like so and then pillar up with some TNT like this. That's really going to be the easiest way for us to do this um, as opposed to like trying to separate it out and put a block in between each one or anything like that. We've got the TNT. It don't matter, man. We're TNT rich. We can go ahead and just go like this and then we'll block another guy down here like so. And popping it, popping it. Bam. Now that I used it, game is up. So now it needs to be every two away. So here we've got another one right here. And then we'll just keep building them up. Now we know what our measurements are for our 1-8. Now it doesn't have to be a perfect um, square or anything. There needs to be like a little bit of an angle over here. And I can just kind of visually calculate how that's going to be. And any additional blocks that we have that are left over from the explosion. There's going to be a great explosion. Um, we can go ahead and just like clean that up manually the imbued tool man. We can't be stopped. There's no way It's unbelievable. So let me go ahead and uh, set out all the rest of the TNT and Then I'll be our beast peeps And we're back and I'm just getting some more stuff and things done here peeps um, just getting everything wired up and I think it's gonna be pretty unbelievable. I was just doing a little bit of math. I think there's around 57 columns of TNT, each 32 TNT deep. That would be a little over 1800 TNT in the system that we're gonna blow up right now in just a couple of seconds. So I hope that you guys appreciate the explosions. Make sure that you let me know if you like explosions, you hit the thumbs up button peeps. Cause I feel like this is gonna be a thumbs up worthy explosion. Is a big one. We did something like this back um, a little while ago on um, Infinity, where we did let up a big explosion as well, and it was really fun. Can I not put stuff and things on there? Oh, what are you even, stupid? Hate you. Oh no, 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 no! Come over here! Come over here! Come over here! Oh my God, this is a disaster. Why is it such a huge disaster? These stupid troll blocks. I tell you what, man. Not cool, man. Not cool. Come over here, dumb ants that are stupid. I hate you. You especially. Not a fan. All right, let's go ahead and get the rest of this up. Oh, do we have a block? We can get this guy inside of there. Nailed it. All right, so now we can pop this up. We're almost finished getting the wiring done. All right, I think that that should be good. Now I made a bunch of repeaters. We're gonna have to squirt a bunch of these guys in just at random locations in and abouts the area. One, two, three, six. We can just kind of go like, I mean, we have a lot of repeaters. It's all going to get blown up anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Like so. One right there looks good. I like it. I'm liking it quite a bit. This is good. So we got to make sure we're kind of being a little bit careful as far as the signal going in the single direction or multiple. Well, whatever. Just make sure the signal can get around. So we're good to go there. There. Oh my God, guys, we're gonna blow this up. It's gonna be crazy. Two, three, four, five. That should be fine up in that area right there. Like so, like so. Put one there. Oh my God. That should be good. I think we should be good to go. That looks good to me. It looks like a perfect, a perfect thing. It's the perfect thing of perfectness. Oh man. All right, so all right, so now all we need is a lever, of which I have created one right here, and there it is. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to blow something up? Oh my God, I'm so ready. Three, go. Oh no, half it didn't go off. No way. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, our glass ceiling didn't really work out. Oh, what a big disaster. <laughs> what a humongous disaster. No, it didn't work out. Oh, wait, some of it did end up going off. Did we get it all? We got a good amount. <laughs> the ceiling didn't work at all, man. This is the worst ceiling ever. Maybe we can go over here so we can see a little better. <laughs> I figured it wouldn't go up that high. I didn't think it would. It shouldn't be too bad. I don't think it looks like there's like a, actually um, a large creation of source blocks happening. Um, I think if we, yeah, we should be able to just, <laughs> we should be able to just close it back off and hopefully it won't be too big of a deal to clean up. We definitely had some issues. It looks like there's a lot of ore here that wasn't affected and I don't think there's anything we could have done about that. Like right over here, this stuff doesn't even, you know what I mean? It wasn't that we placed the TNT wrong or anything. Um, it's just that this stuff is resistant to exploding. So there's going to be a lot more work than I thought trying to get this area cleaned up. So, oh my god, that was so cool! Make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you liked it! I'm gonna go ahead and try to fix up the glass up here. I think I'm gonna have to go check on, um... Oh, how's our tunnel doing? Oh, perfect! Nailed it! Hey, it's camera top! So I think I'm gonna go, um, check on the dupe tree area. I don't know how much quartz glass I've got left. Let's go ahead and pop these guys inside of here. And let's see here. Oh, I've got a bunch. We've got a bunch. Well, let's just go like, whatever, it's fine. Popping it, popping it. Uh, all right, so where's our tunnel? I'm gonna cut over here. I'm gonna start getting some more uh, of the glass placed and then I'll be our bees, peeps. And we're back and I got all the glass replaced back up in. All the water is subsiding. No source blocks were created, but we sure as heck have a lot, a lot, a lot of extra blocks that are just left over here, man. Like, thank God for the imbued tool. Thank goodness for the imbued tool because we've really got to take a lot of this stuff out. And it's still going to be, even with all that TNT, a really big job to go ahead and get all of this cleared. So, um, yeah, this is going to take a little bit of time. I don't even know if we'll get this done today. I don't think so. I didn't expect there to be this much of the extra stone. When I did this on Infinity, it wasn't this bad. It wasn't even near this bad. There were like two little spots where there were some extra blocks. Um, this is quite a bit of extra block action. There's a little bit of extra hot, hot extra block action going on here. What was that? Oh, is it void? We have void stuff and things on here? I think I can turn that off. Looks like we had a little bit... It was almost a good thing, though. A little bit of uh, lava was turned into obsidian right here. So that'll be easily taken out. And Butte Tool is not bedrocky, right? Okay, just checking. We can't totally cheat and break bedrock with it. But I'm thinking the next thing that we should probably work on... Whoa, whoa! Are we trying to glitch through the blocks there? The next thing we should probably do is again try to find the center point and then maybe make an outline of how big the 1 is going to be so then that way we'll know like where to dig down. Because what we're going to do is make like a cylinder, I think. And I think we're going to go up again, up a little bit more as well. But, um, but yeah, I think we got to make a little bit of an outline and see exactly where it is that we're going to need to be building our seven things here. And we're back, and we got it pretty much all tunneled out here. I made the little thing up here. I made the little outline of what the 1 8 is like. And so the little 1 8 that's over there, it's 29 by 29. So you can see here, this guy is 29 by 29. Like a so, like a so. And each one of the long edges, the flat edges, is 11. So each one of these guys is 11. Don't let me down, slip gator. <laughs> Yeah, we did it. I'm pretty sure I measured it right. So then we just do diagonals from there. And then I just kind of been going down and just kind of eyeballing it. You know, it's not real hard to to know that it's it's all of these guys, all these little nodules and clusters of uh, of uh, weird ores and weird blocks that are, are the ones that didn't explode. So as I see one of them, I just take them out. I also turn the depth fog off. If you're using OptiFine, you go in your options, video, set, video settings, details, you can turn that depth fog off. And that gets rid of that... This stuff, we don't want that. We don't want depth fog at all. That doesn't help us in any way, shape, or form. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that guy. But as you can see here, it's pretty quick. It goes pretty quickly in Butte Tool. We like taking it all out, man. It's pretty easy stuff and things. But now we've got our area where we can start to set up our dupe tree farm. Um, and there's a couple things that I think, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna get done off camera. Getting the automated inscribers going, that's something that I wanna make sure we can just go ahead and have so we have the, um, processes are on hand every time. That's one of those things that we're not able to get working with the dupe trees. Um, and then everything else that we need, this dupe tree factory, I think is gonna handle it for us. So look, it's pretty cool, man. We made a big giant hole. I had a fun time making a hole and I hope that you guys did too. I think that's gonna be it for today, peeps. If you guys like the video, make sure you hit the like button. 
Feel free to share it, favorite it as you see fit. May the stuff and things be with you.